Wow, it's spring, and logically speaking, it's summer on Monday, 1st of June. So, this is Saturday the 30th of May, 2015, 06.57. It's also the last day of the Urban Tap House. Tiny Rebel pop-up bar in Newport. Not sure if there's an Urban Tap House, it just might be the pop-up bar. Popping day. It's a popping. Anyway, also a epic update. It's sunny. There's no wind. My smock has been washed and it's on the line and I'm bare armed and I'm going for it. Mind you the weather forecast for today is good, so what the hell. So nice shadows. No wind. I'm thinking coffee to start then fine ales. And that's it. Tomorrow, tomorrow it will rain. Good new. And Newport. Uh, I think this used to be Stowhill Bars. It did used to be Stowhill Bars. Okay. By the way, listening to the Daily Tech News show, this is the pre-show at the moment and it's a bit freaky. I'm on Patreon, so I'm paying uh, $5 for the pre and post show audio. Should I give it to... No, oh, I don't think... Mm. No, not Starbucks. Anyway, ahead is the white one, it used to be the pink one. I know I say that every time, I think I might pop in there and have a little look-see later. Kinda like it. Here we go. <coughs> I'm not altogether sure what time it opens. It never says. I thought it's from 12, but you know. Anyway, here we go. So, yeah, coffee in the Queen's Hotel to start. If they have a fine nail there, maybe one of those at 8 o'clock. I'm thinking, I need to be on Windows Phone in there, so I will. This is the level of excitement in my life. Anyway, Queen's Hotel. Ooh, a sneaky black bus. I had a quality plan, and that was it, a cappuccino, and this is my next quality plan, this is Yen Special, 4.5% alcohol by volume, 199 a pint, which is not bad, um, nutty malt murthy hops apparently, I'm going in. Nice carpet here, Mr. Manning. Smells like a traditional English pint. Okay, that's just a little bit too cool. It needs to warm up a bit, but it's tasting good. I'm liking it. I'm giving it B plus because that's very satisfying. And onwards and there's a smell of fast food which is kind of good there's sort of a chippy smell and a spicy smell and a chickeny smell and no piri smell anyway here we go as i said repeating myself that's app number two I stand at the bar and I get ignored. I walk out. So I'll try my luck here. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Hmm. Got served here straight away. 
not the usual staff though, so yeah. anyway, make it rain, 6.5% alcohol by volume, nicely cleared. Oh, very hoppy and strong, B++. have rolls and now they are pies. I'm a pie person. However, okay now the glass. Three fingered salute. Mad dog ruin. 4.7%. Sunny out. There's oddness going on outside. Extreme oddness. But you know. Not much of an aroma, but very bitter. Which I like. English as opposed to American bitter. I give it B plus. Actually, three point two five. It's been here well since the beginning of the month. Here's. Today, the 30th, is the last day. Just so wanted to get in there. Yes, yes. Like to drink. We have to bless it. So we have emergency seating. And a branded beer glass. Let's. Anyway. This is a collab, which is the big thing. Collaboration between Abba Rails and Tiny Rebel. This is, oh gosh, what is it? A bonsai. I thought it was 5.5, it's actually 6.5. Apparently they do throw people out for snoring, but only if it's too loud. Huge amount of hops, huge amount of alcohol. B plus plus. Wow. Wow. Already gonna start to snow. I nursed the last pint, mind you at 6.5. I had to. Anyway, pen and wig, all right then. There's some sort of rugby on, I think it's Bath versus Saracens. Anyway, this is tournament by Goss Brewery, 4% alcohol by volume. In a, I think it's an Evan Evans glass. Nope, no real aroma. Ah. So no American hops in. Ooh, that's nice. That's B plus in a bit. 3.25 on the untapped scale.